hindi nangangahulugan na kapag ang pronunciation mo ay maganda, ibig sabihin ay mas maganda na ang pagkatao mo sa ibang tao, no? Hey, my name is Myra and welcome to another video. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded a video here on my channel. At marami na akong utang sa inyo dun sa mga subscribers ko na nagsasuggest na mga topics na gusto nilang i-discuss ko sa aking channel. Thank you very much sa inyong lahat and dun sa mga active commenters din. Thank you very, very much. There is this comment na talagang pumukaw sa aking kaisipan. Sabi niya, Hi, personal question. Where did you study English? How were you able to remove your Filipino accent when speaking English? To be honest, I've been getting the same question from my followers sa ibang platforms na ginagamit ko, sa ibang social media platforms na ginagamit ko, and also from my learners, na foreigners. In this video, yeah, itchichika ko lang naman sa inyo yung mga bagay na ginawa ko before. Um, and yung mga bagay na ginagawa ko pa rin ngayon, hanggang ngayon, para ma-neutralize or magkaroon lang ng clear pronunciation or yung accent na katanggap-tanggap sa mga estudyante ko. Because, you know, I am an ESL teacher. When you say ESL, that's English as a second language. Most of my learners are from Europe, from Russia, Spain, Italy, France. Um, and also, I have learners from... Japan, Korea, and China, some of them have asked me the same question. I don't know if you agree, but in my opinion, it is it should be a requirement for an English teacher to properly pronounce words. If we need to, to teach you how to properly use words, how to construct correct sentences, I think it is also necessary for an English teacher to be able to pronounce words correctly in English. For me, all accents are beautiful. Filipino accent is absolutely beautiful. May mga tao lang talaga na they prefer American accent, British accent, Australian accent, or Canadian accent, whatever accent you prefer. Anyway, in my case, I don't know what kind of accent I have. When I was still young, talagang hilig ko ng manggaya ng mga accent ng mga tao. Pag nanonood ako ng pelikula, at tapos meron akong napanood na babae, naganda na ako sa pronounce sa accent niya. So what I what I would do is that harap ako sa mirror, tapos kakausapin ko yung sarili ko sa mirror. And yun, nag-enjoy lang ako sa mga ganung bagay. Umpisahan natin dun sa time na bago pa lang ako sa industry na to. Okay? Because I remember nung bago pa lang akong teacher, a learner complained about my accent. I remember she was a 13-year-old Korean student at sabi niya, napaka Pinoy daw ng accent ko. I don't know why they had to complain about our accent. And so my trainer gave me this list of tongue twisters that I needed to read out loud in front of her. And, uh, you know, she, she was also correcting me. Kaya talagang natulungan niya rin naman ako sa pronunciation ko kasi utal talaga ako. And kahit sa Filipino, tag talagang nauutal ako. So, a tongue twister exercise can definitely help you with your pronunciation. And after a few years, I also became a trainer. Um, I became a trading manager. So basically, I conducted training to the newbies or to the new hires. And isa talaga sa mga exercises na hindi ko pinapalagpas, laging kasali yan during the first few days of the training, kailangan merong tongue twister exercises. And ang um, focus ko usually sa mga tongue twister exercises ay yung p, t, k. Dito sa Philippines, right, we don't really say p, t, k. These are examples of aspirated sounds. Pag sinabi natin aspirated sounds, may koonting buga ng hangin when you pronounce these words, or rather these, when you make these sounds. Kung i-imagine ninyo, yung sounds na yan ay merong h. Nakasunod. Okay? So instead of just saying P, you say P. Put your palm in front of your mouth and say P versus P. I'll give you an example. You say people. Dito sa Philippines, we say people. Okay? Walang aspiration, walang konting hangin na lumalabas sa ating bibig when we say P. People. 
But in American English, this is how we should say it. It's P. People. Put your palm in front of your mouth and say people. That is the standard American pronunciation of that word. Versus P. People. Wala kang masyadong nararamdam na, nararamdam na burst of air. Versus people. Another example. Polite. Sa mga Pinoy, sinasabi natin karaniwan, polite. But, kung lalagyan nyo ng aspiration yan, yung P in standard American pronunciation, we say, P, polite. Polite. Diba ang laki ng difference ng sounds nilang dalawa? Polite. Polite. People. People. Sa T naman, dito sa Philippines, for example, we say, tomato. To. Tomato, but the pronunciation of it in standard American English is t, tomato, t, tomato. So again, you can put your palm in front of your mouth and say t, tomato, versus tomato. And the same goes with a k sound. In the Philippines, we say common, but the pronunciation of that in standard American English is k. Common. Ka. Again, there is a burst of air that comes out of your mouth when you pronounce the k sound. Look for online resources where you can learn more about American accent. So, yun, American accent training. Marami yan sa YouTube. Meron din mga PDF files, but I suggest when it comes to working on your pronunciation, it's better to watch videos or listen to podcasts. Another thing that I did was I chose my role model. Let's just say pagdating sa pronunciation or accent. I used to watch English movies a lot um, and TV series na rin. Um, used to kasi hindi ko na siya magawa ngayon. If I'm not working, what I do is I spend most of my time with my son doing household chores and uh, creating videos for my YouTube channel. And you na nga, as I was saying, in the past, I would usually watch American TV series. And one of my favorites is Chuck. One of the main characters there is Sarah Walker, which was portrayed by Yvonne Strahovski. Was that Tr Strahovski? Yeah. Anyway, she is an Australian. But in that TV series, she was using um, Californian accent. So I was really impressed. Alam ko marami naman talaga mga artista no, na kayang-kaya nilang ibahin yung kanilang accent depending on the character that they are portraying in a show or in, in a movie. I would normally mimic her <laughs> kapag mag-isa na lang ako sa, sa, sa bahay o kaya pag nasa kwarto lang ako and, or nasa banyo. I also talk to myself. I talk to myself when I'm alone. I practice when I'm alone. I also love Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is one of the best actresses in Hollywood for me. And pagdating sa pronunciation or sa accent, I love her accent. So, nanonood ako ng mga interviews niya. I encourage you to find a role model, choose a role model, and uh, yeah, mimic your role model when you're alone or when you have the chance to speak with somebody in English. You know, your friend could be a perfect buddy to practice with. Another thing that I urge you to do is to use online English dictionaries. These are just some of the online dictionaries that I use if I want to listen to how a word is properly pronounced in English. So the first one is Cambridge Dictionary. The second one is Macmillan Dictionary. And the third one is Longman Dictionary. Now, especially sa Cambridge Dictionary, makikita nyo dyan kung paano i-pronounce yung word sa American English, alright? Standard American English and sa British English. Basta i-click nyo lang yung speaker icon na yan in order for you to listen to how a word is pronounced. O ba? Ang saya! Ang dali lang! And another thing that you can do to enhance your pronunciation is read out loud. Read a text out loud. And dyan mo rin nagagamit yung mga dictionary, di ba? If there are words that you are unsure about, as I said, you can just look them up in your dictionary. And then listen to how they are pronounced in English. 
and then you can continue reading the text. So, paulit ulit mo siyang gawin. You record your voice. That's another thing. Record your voice so that you can listen to how you sound. Kasi iba pa rin, di ba, yung naririnig mo mismo yung sarili mo. And another thing is that I think because I was able to work with Americans, I also had the chance to practice my English with a native speaker of English. So yun, yun yung mga bagay na ginawa ko, ginagawa ko pa rin. And yeah, you can absolutely do them in order for you to enhance your pronunciation in English. So again, hindi na nga na kapag ang pronunciation mo ay maganda, ibig sabihin ay mas maganda na ang pagkatao mo sa ibang tao, no? Thank you so much and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!